Have you ever wondered where the largest dinosaurs lived? On which of the current continents? This question is also interesting to scientists. When dinosaurs first appeared, our Earth was one large landmass called Pangaea. However, its parts began to drift apart, forming the familiar continents we know today. Consequently, if initially the fauna was more similar across regions during the separation process, distinct species began to emerge, each inhabiting specific continents. Today we will tell you about the creatures that inhabited each of the continents during the time of dinosaurs. We will learn about Australian dinosaurs, led by the Australovnator. We will find out how dinosaurs lived in Antarctica. And we will also meet the neighbors of Tyrannosaurus rex, who lived in North America. This is the Space Progress Channel. Enjoy watching. The film and animation industry has had a significant impact on the global popularization of dinosaurs, with the majority of these works created in the United States featuring North American species of giant reptiles. The fascination with dinosaurs is closely tied to the vast number of fossils found in North America. Additionally, numerous museums and exhibitions dedicated to this theme are located in the United States and Canada. The most well-known types of prehistoric reptiles are predators, often depicted hunting protagonists in movies, cartoons, and video games. Now, we will discuss carnivorous dinosaurs that lived in the United States and Canada. Since during the time of dinosaurs, Asia was connected to the North American continent, many related species lived in their territories. However, the remains of some dinosaurs are found only in the United States, Mexico, or Canada. Among these distinctly North American predatory dinosaurs, the most popular is Tyrannosaurus rex. Despite the speculation that Tyrannosaurs could have lived in the Asian continent, there are no findings to confirm this theory. All fossils associated with this formidable monster have been discovered in the United States. This theropod, reaching up to 4 meters in height and 13 meters in length, could weigh up to 9 tons. Tyrannosaurs lived at the very end of the dinosaur era, approximately 66, 68 million years ago. There are numerous versions regarding the lifestyle and appearance of this giant, but most scientists believe that it was an active hunter with a developed sense of smell and vision. It could ambush its prey and attack using its main weapons, powerful jaws with sharp, large teeth and neck muscle that allowed it to inflict horrifying wounds on its prey. However, in addition to Tyrannosaurus rex, during the dinosaur dominance, North America was home to a variety of different predators. Acrocanthosaurus was one of them. This carnivorous, bipedal dinosaur inhabited the United States approximately 115 million years ago. Its distinctive feature is the characteristic vertebral spines. Initially, scientists believed that this species had a dorsal sail and might be related to the African Spinosaurus. However, these spines are now considered to have supported the back muscles, forming a kind of hump. The length of this dinosaur could reach 11 meters, and its weight could exceed four tons. The first fossils of this species were found in the state of Oklahoma, where scientists excavated the remains of two individuals. At that time, this new species received its name, meaning lizard with high spines. The height of these spines reached 35 centimeters. When walking, the head of Acrocanthosaurus was slightly lowered forward. The front and hind limbs of this species were relatively short, but equipped with long and powerful claws. Acrocanthosaurs inhabited plains and sparse forests. The next dinosaur species can rightfully be considered a symbol of Canada. This dinosaur was Albertosaurus. Most fossils related to Albertosaurus have been found in Canada. It lived several million years before its larger relative, the Tyrannosaurus. Initially, some scientists considered it a local dwarf subspecies of the most bloodthirsty lizard in the planet's history. But despite the external resemblance, Albertosaurs were classified as a separate species. There is a hypothesis that these predators could hunt in packs and attack larger sauropods. These lizards lived in the forests of Canada approximately 68 million years ago. 
Unlike larger tyrannosaurs, they had up to 70 teeth on their elongated jaws, while larger species had fewer teeth. Allosaurus also predominantly inhabited North America. This predatory dinosaur became one of the first species discovered in the history of science. The first discovery, a phalanx of a finger and several vertebrae, was made in the second half of the 19th century. Later, a vast number of Allosaurus bones were found in more than 10 American states. However, this species is not exclusively American. Allosaurus bones have been found in Portugal and Tanzania. These giants roamed the Earth from 155 to 145 million years ago, during the Jurassic period. The name Allosaurus can be translated as different lizard. It was a classic theropod with powerful hind legs, a short neck, and a large head. Its length, according to various researchers, could reach from 10 to 13 meters. The height of Allosaurus was about 4 meters, and its weight could reach 2.5 tons. Most predatory tyrannosaurids inhabited the western coast of the modern United States. One of the few residents of the eastern regions of the continent is Appalachiosaurus. Its remains were found in the states of Alabama, North Carolina, and South Carolina. All findings related to this species are highly fragmented. Currently, scientists have the lower jaw, some fragments of the skull, individual vertebrae, and partially preserved pelvic bones with intact hind limbs. Based on these fragments, researchers have reconstructed the approximate size and appearance of Appalachiosaurus. Its length was about 7 meters, height up to 3 meters, and the weight not exceeding 600 kilograms. Some researchers believe that the found remains belong to juvenile dinosaurs, and the actual size of the lizard could be larger. These dinosaurs lived in the Appalachians approximately 77 million years ago and it is in honor of this mountain range that they received their name. A small predatory dinosaur discovered in the Canadian province of Alberta in 1995 by researcher Wayne Marshall is named Atrociraptor. The name can be translated as wild predator or savage predator. So far, this is the only discovery associated with this species. The presumed size of this dinosaur is extremely small. It weighed no more than 15 kilograms and reached a length of 2 meters. It lived at the very end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 70 million years ago. Atrociraptor had a short skull, moved on its hind limbs, and, like many raptors, likely had well-developed feathering. The next dinosaur that inhabited North America was Bambiraptor. This tiny predatory dinosaur received its name in honor of the Disney cartoon Fawn. The name is associated with the fact that the only discovered specimen of this species belongs to a young individual. The discovered specimen is about 90 centimeters long, and scientists estimate the length of an adult individual to be approximately 1 meter and 30 centimeters. The weight of the dinosaur did not exceed 5 kilograms. At the same time, the brain size of Bambiraptor is comparable to the brains of modern birds. It is not excluded that it inhabited trees and was even capable of small flights. Such a lifestyle contributes to the development of intelligence. The discovered specimen dates back to 72 million years ago. In other words, Bambiraptors lived on Earth closer to the end of the Cretaceous period. This is just a small part of the dinosaurs that inhabited the territory of modern North America. If you are interested in this topic in more detail, please leave a comment. We will definitely create a separate episode on the topic of North American dinosaurs. Dinosaurs of Eurasia During the time of dinosaurs, the continents as we know them today were positioned differently, but each of them was home to its own species of predatory dinosaurs. Among them, were both related or identical species and lizards whose fossils are now found only in specific regions of the globe. Despite the fact that in popular culture, the most well-known animals of the dinosaur era are representatives of North America, other continents also had their equally interesting and unusual predators. Baryonyx. In 1983 in England, several bones belonging to an unknown species of dinosaurs were discovered. 
Among them was a claw of enormous size, which gave the new species its name. The name Baryonyx translates to powerful claw. This lizard from the early Cretaceous period is a relative of such giants as Spinosaurus. Thanks to the discovery of Baryonyx, scientists were able to determine the appearance and lifestyle of Spinosaurus. This carnivorous dinosaur inhabited the vicinity of small water bodies in the British Isles and Spain. Its length reached seven and a half meters, and its weight did not exceed 1,200 kilograms. Ceratosaurus. The first findings of the remains of this species were made in the American state of Colorado, but scattered bones of ceratosaurs were later discovered in North Africa, Portugal, and Switzerland. This small predator had a length of six meters and weighed no more than 700 kilograms. It was one of the first discovered theropods. As information about this species accumulated, its presumed appearance changed several times. The initial depiction of Ceratosaurus featured distinctive horns on its head. Later, this species took on the appearance and behavior of a classic carnivorous theropod, but the horn projections on the head remained almost unchanged. The next small lizard that inhabited the territory of modern Germany and France, and possibly even in Transbaikalia, became the hero of several parts of the Jurassic Park franchise. Its name is Compsognathus. The first discovery of the remains of this species dates back to the mid-19th century. This dinosaur reached a length of approximately 125 centimeters and weighed no more than 3.5 kilograms. In the jaws of this predator were 68 sharp, curved teeth. Thanks to its long, four-toed hind legs, it could achieve high running speeds. Compsognathus's diet included small lizards and insects, Eustreptospondylus. This predatory dinosaur lived about 165 million years ago in the territory of England. It had a length of up to six meters and weighed about half a ton. The size estimation was based on the most complete known skeleton belonging to a young individual. This theropod lived on the coast and fed on both marine and terrestrial animals. Given that at that time, its habitat consisted of a chain of islands, scientists speculate that this dinosaur was a decent swimmer. If we move further east from Europe, we arrive in Asia. Here too, there is a large number of various dinosaurs that amaze with their size and strength. One such representative is Tarbosaurus. This distant relative of Tyrannosaurus rex which lived in Mongolia and China closer to the end of the Cretaceous period is perhaps the most famous of Asian predatory dinosaurs. This giant, measuring from nine to 12 meters in length and weighing up to five tons, became the protagonist of a feature length animated film about the era of dinosaurs. Possibly the basis for creating the touching story of parental love was a discovery made in the Gobi Desert by a Soviet scientific expedition in 1948. In this expedition, scientists found the almost complete skeleton of an adult dinosaur and the remains of a baby dinosaur measuring less than one meter. Aculobata was also an intriguing representative of Asia. This small theropod, with the loud name translating to Achilles warrior, lived in Mongolia approximately 95 million years ago. It stood two meters tall and had a length of up to six meters. Its most famous relatives include the North American Utah raptors and dromaeosaurs. Most likely they were active predators preying on smaller animals. Adasaurus was a small theropod dinosaur that lived in late Cretaceous Central Asia. It was about two meters long and presumably had feathers. Adasaurus was characterized by long sickle-shaped claws on the second toes of its hind limbs. This predator got its name from an evil spirit in Mongolian mythology and its name translates to Ada lizard, Bagaratan. The name of this small theropod, which inhabited the forests of the Nemect formation in Mongolia, translates to small predator, it had a length of three meters and a height of no more than one meter. Scientists believe that, like most such small bipedal lizards, it was feathered. This lizard had an elongated and flattened skull with small three-fingered hands. All skeleton findings of this species date back to the end of the Cretaceous period. 
Byronosaurus. This relative of Truden lived in Mongolia approximately 70 million years ago. It was no more than one and a half meters long and had a height of no more than 50 centimeters. While this dinosaur's body was covered with feathers, unlike other members of the Trudentide family, Byronosaurus lacked serrations on its teeth, characteristic of small predators. Its diet included smaller dinosaurs, as well as other animals and insects. In 2012, in northeastern China, the remains of a small, four-winged dinosaur were accidentally discovered. It was named Changyuraptor. This species is related to the well-known Microraptor, but is much larger. Currently, Changyuraptor is considered the largest known feathered dinosaur with feathers on all limbs. Its length is over one meter and it weighs about four kilograms. It is assumed that this flying dinosaur could fly or, at a minimum, glide from tree to tree. It lived in the Liaoning province around 125 million years ago. In general, this region is represented by a vast number of remains of feathered dinosaurs of various species and sizes. This is due to the presence of various mountains in the area. As a result, terrestrial dinosaurs could not inhabit the region extensively, so it was predominantly populated by flying dinosaurs. Another unusual specimen from the same formation, Epidexipteryx, dates back to the Jurassic period. This feathered dinosaur was very tiny, with a length, including its tail feathers, of less than 45 centimeters, and without the tail, it was 25 centimeters. The weight of this creature is estimated to be 164 grams. It is believed that it led an arboreal lifestyle, hunting spiders, lizards, and insects. The tail feathers of this dinosaur differ significantly from the feathers of modern birds. Instead of a central shaft with smaller branches branching off, this unusual dinosaur had tail feathers made of thread-like structures. Their purpose remains unclear. Some scientists speculate that such feathers help the dinosaur move along thin branches, while others believe that these feathers served purely as ornaments. Australia. Modern Australia is a distinct continent populated by a large number of unique animals. Many of them are extremely dangerous predators that use not only teeth and claws, but also venomous glands. In the era of dinosaurs, this territory was connected to other lands and inhabited by both predatory and herbivorous dinosaurs. Unfortunately, the prehistoric world of Australia during that period is not as well studied. However, scientists do know something about some predators. Today, a significant part of the Australian continent is covered by rocky deserts. But during the time of dinosaurs, these vast territories were green jungles and heavily marshy. They were inhabited by dinosaur varieties typical of that time, mostly classical sauropods with long necks and other herbivorous species. Also present were bipedal theropods of various sizes that preyed on them. The most studied predator that lived in Australia during the dinosaur era is Australovnator. Its name means Australian hunter. It is believed that the maximum length of this monster was approximately six meters, a height of about two meters, and a weight ranging from half a ton to a ton. In 2005, in the state of Queensland, a femur bone of a large sauropod was discovered. Excavations at the discovery site revealed well-preserved remains of this herbivorous giant from the titanosaurs group buried together with a large predatory theropod. Both skeletons were studied by a group of scientists led by Scott Hocknell in 2009. The predator turned out to be a previously unknown species and became the most well-preserved skeleton of a carnivorous dinosaur found on the Australian continent. Initially, this new dinosaur was declared a relative of Carcharodontosaurus and assigned to the corresponding family. Later, it was classified into the Megaraptorid family. The discovery of this predator also allowed scientists to more accurately determine the affiliation of some earlier finds. In particular, the tibia bone found in 1981, which was considered a bone of a dwarf subspecies of Allosaurus, was attributed to an as yet unknown species that was the ancestor of Australovenator. A distinctive feature of this lizard 
is its extremely mobile front limbs, considered its primary weapon. The radius and ulna of this dinosaur moved independently of each other, as in modern birds. The front limbs of Australovnator could bend at an angle from 66 to 144 degrees. It also had very flexible fingers. It is believed that traces of this giant are present in the famous Dinosaur Stampede National Monument in Queensland. Raptor or Raptor is a little-known species of Australian dinosaurs from the Cretaceous period. It is known from a single find made in the early 20th century and described in 1932. This discovery is a phalanx bone found near Walgut in New South Wales. The structure of this finger part allowed assigning the new dinosaur to theropods from the Megaraptorid family. Despite the fact that the name of this lizard means predator, scientists know practically nothing about its lifestyle, habits, and diet. The size of Rapator was determined by comparing the only available bone with a similar bone of Australovenata. Such a comparison led to the conclusion that the predator could reach a length of 9 meters and a height of 3 meters with a weight of up to 3 tons. However, some researchers believe that the identification of Rapator as a separate species was a mistake, and the found bone belongs to Australovenata. But the age of this discovery exceeds all known remains of Australovenata by 10 million years. Osraptor. This dinosaur is the only known predatory species that inhabited Australia during the Jurassic geological period. It is known from a single, incomplete bone of the hind limb. However, this discovery's age, which ranges from 175 to 180 million years, was sufficient for scientists to discern some features of the dinosaur. They believe that the length of this dinosaur could have been around three meters, and researchers also speculated that Osraptor was relatively slender and could reach very high running speeds. A similar structure of the hind limbs is observed in the better studied dromaeosaurs that lived in North America. They are among the fastest dinosaurs. The animal world of the Australian continent during the dinosaur era still holds many mysteries, and scientists have yet to discover many species that lived in this area at that time. Dinosaur remains are found in various places, and sometimes such discoveries are quite astonishing. Not long ago, information surfaced that Australia was home to a worthy competitor to giants like Tyrannosaurus, Tarbosaurus, or Jaganotosaurus. Traces of this dinosaur were found in several states on the ceilings of coal mines in the mid-20th century, but for now, they haven't given him a name. The results achieved by scientists became a real sensation. Researchers believe that these tracks belong to a giant theropod that lived in Australia at the end of the Jurassic period, between 105 and 165 million years ago. That is, nearly 100 million years past before the appearance of the first tyrannosaurs. The length of the imprints of the hind limbs mostly ranges from 50 to 60 centimeters, but the largest of them reaches a length of 80 centimeters. From this, scientists concluded that the maximum length of the lizard could be about 10 meters. Despite Tyrannosaurus rex significantly surpassing this dinosaur in size, it was a true giant for its time. Perhaps it was the largest predator of that period. Based on the available tracks, scientists were able to calculate its possible movement speed, which could reach 35 kilometers per hour, a considerable speed for dinosaurs. It is assumed that this little studied carnosaur was a relative of Allosaurus. This means that representatives of this family occupied the top tiers of the food pyramid at the end of the Jurassic and the beginning of the Cretaceous periods worldwide. Predatory Dinosaurs of Antarctica. Today, the south pole of our planet is almost a lifeless, icy desert. But during the time of dinosaurs, Antarctica was closer to the equator and was covered with tropical jungles, just like all other continents. It was densely populated by representatives of various animal and plant species. However, due to the harsh climate and thick ice cover, scientists know practically nothing about Mesozoic Antarctic lizards. Paleontologists truly began studying Antarctica only a few decades ago. 
searching for the remains of ancient creatures and plants under a multi-meter layer of ice and snow is a challenging task. Therefore, to this day, not many dinosaur species that inhabited this continent have been discovered. But the findings made so far indicate a relatively diverse animal and plant life in Mesozoic Antarctica. At the beginning of the dinosaur era, this continent was part of the supercontinent Gondwana, comprising the territories of all modern Southern Hemisphere continents. By the end of the Cretaceous period, Antarctica had already separated from Australia, Africa and South America, but was positioned closer to the equator than it is today. Despite an average annual temperature of plus 13 degrees Celsius, the last dinosaurs lived in conditions where polar night occurred for several months. It is believed that both plants and animals had certain features that allowed them to live without light for an extended period. Due to the colder climate, many Antarctic dinosaurs likely had feathers, and some scientists speculate they may have been warm-blooded. Considering the presence of polar night, dinosaurs might have developed night vision or other skills to survive in such harsh conditions. It is also possible that some of them entered a state of torpor, enduring unfavorable times. A significant portion of the Mesozoic era Antarctica was connected with another southern continent, Australia. Therefore, it is highly likely that similar or closely related dinosaur species could have existed on both continents. The most well-known predator of Antarctica, whose remains have been studied and described by scientists, is Cryolophosaurus. This carnivorous theropod lived in temperate forests that covered the continent during the height of the Jurassic period, approximately 195 million years ago. A well-preserved skeleton of this lizard was found in mountain rock at an elevation of 4,000 meters above sea level in 1991 by geologist David Elliott from the United States. After the discovery was reported, an expedition led by paleontologist William Hammer was organized. Over three weeks, scientists extracted over two tons of rock, containing hundreds of bones of a new dinosaur species. In 1994, Hammer described his findings and named the dinosaur. The name can be translated as frozen lizard with a crest. The most important specimen was a well-preserved skull of Cryolophosaurus, featuring a distinctive crest across the snout. This crest, positioned transversely to the snout rather than parallel, earned the dinosaur its unusual nickname, Elvisaurus, after the singer Elvis Presley. In reality, this dinosaur was a carnivorous predator, measuring between 6 to 8 meters in length, and its estimated weight varied around 700 kilograms. The length of Cryolophosaurus's skull was 65 centimeters. Overall, it was a classic carnivorous theropod with powerful hind limbs and strong jaws. Another unique predator of Antarctica is the unusual dinosaur known as Imperobator. Despite its grandiose name, meaning mighty warrior, scientists know very little about its appearance and behavior. Judging the parameters of this dinosaur can only be done based on the single found left foot. Other bones in the hands of researchers have poorly survived. The structure of the legs of this dinosaur closely resembles North American dromaeosaurs. However, it lacks the main feature of all members of this group, a powerful claw on one of the fingers. Another important difference is that the foot of Imperobator is much larger than that of its overseas relatives. Considering that these species belong to Paravians, the Antarctic giant can be considered the largest dinosaur of this type. Proportional size increase compared to the length of the foot suggests that the entire length of the lizard was about 5 meters. It is believed that the entire body of this lizard was covered with feathers, and it lived at the end of the Cretaceous period, approximately 71 million years ago. Predatory dinosaurs not only inhabited the land, but also thrived in cold waters near the South Pole. In 1989, on one of the islands near the Antarctic coast, the skeleton of a very large plesiosaur was discovered. Due to the absence of the skull, determining its generic affiliation immediately proved quite challenging. Only after studying numerous other findings in this region did specialists from the Argentine Antarctic Institute manage to understand which genus it belonged to. It turned out 
that the remains belong to a lizard of the Aristonectes genus from the Elasmosauridae order. These plesiosaurs became extinct in the mid-Cretaceous period, and to this day, scientists have not encountered such large specimens. The typical species of these creatures were described as early as 1941, with a length not exceeding nine and a half meters. Like all such plesiosaurs, it had a long neck and two pairs of fins on the sides of a barrel-shaped body. A notable feature of Aristonectes was its thin, long teeth. Because of them, some scientists suggest that this lizard did not feed on fish and small marine animals, but filtered water, similar to modern whales. There are even alternative reconstructions of the appearance of these animals, depicting a membranous pouch instead of a long neck, similar to many cetaceans. But regardless of the feeding method, scientists have never before encountered such a large representative of this family as its Antarctic species. It is believed that this was an adult individual and its length reached 12 meters. By some estimates, the weight of such a monster could be around 14 tons. Such size is explained by the cooling of the water near the South Pole at the end of the Cretaceous period. As is known, cold waters are more saturated with various animals. Elasmosaurs that lived there could adapt more quickly to such changes than their competitors and occupy an important ecological niche. In this case, the version of a filtering feeding method may be more likely than the option of hunting for fish. Currently, cold waters in those areas are rich in plankton, which modern marine giants such as whales feed on. The abundance of food likely contributed to the increase in their sizes. Perhaps representatives of the discovered species of marine lizards became some of the inventors of such a feeding method. Predatory Dinosaurs of South America Thanks to mass culture, dinosaurs that lived in North America are more widely known to the general public. However, the South American continent can also boast a significant number of species of these ancient reptiles, many of which are not inferior and in many ways surpass their counterparts from other continents. Moreover, among scientists, there is an opinion that the first dinosaurs appeared in the regions of the supercontinent Pangaea, which now make up South America. It is believed that the ancestors of dinosaurs were archosaurs. The last of these creatures inhabited the Earth simultaneously with the first representatives of the dinosaur subclass and became extinct only by the end of the Triassic period. The early representatives of dinosaurs, in essence, did not differ much from their predecessors. From a purely technical standpoint, all dinosaurs can also be classified as archosaurs. Archosaurs include all extinct and currently existing species of reptiles, crocodiles, and birds. However, in a narrow sense, this term specifically refers to creatures that gave rise to all the mentioned branches of evolution. A classic predatory archosaur that lived in modern-day Argentina approximately 230 million years ago was Marasuchus. This small lizard reached a length of no more than 130 centimeters. Literally translated, its name means Mara crocodile. The Mara is a large South American rodent. Marasuchus may serve as a transitional form between classic archosaurs and more advanced dinosaurs. Its hind limbs were much longer than the front ones, similar to the predatory theropods. However, this creature likely used all four limbs for movement. Additionally, its skeletal structure has features not typical of dinosaurs. Currently, there are several disputed findings of earlier dinosaurs on other continents, but among officially studied predatory species, the earliest remains belong to dinosaurs from South America, such as Herrerasaurus, Staurikosaurus, and Eoraptor. They inhabited this continent in the Triassic period. Herrerasaurus was a fairly large dinosaur, with a body length reaching 4.5 meters and a weight of 200 kilograms. The remains of this predator, which lived along rivers, have been regularly found in Argentina since the late 1950s. Scientists now consider this lizard as a precursor to prosauropods and theropods, which branched off later. Staricosaurus remains were discovered in Brazil in 1936, but it was described only four decades later. 
It was a small, bipedal lizard just over two meters long and about 80 centimeters tall. Its weight, according to various estimates, ranged from 12 to 30 kilograms. This fast and agile hunter fed on small animals and insects, and in one documentary about dinosaurs, this species is even referred to as the very first dinosaur on Earth. Eoraptor, which lived in Argentina approximately 235 million years ago, is considered about 10 million years older than Staurikosaurus. This dinosaur can be called tiny, with an estimated length not exceeding 170 centimeters and a weight of around 5 kilograms. There is also a version suggesting that the body size of this dinosaur did not exceed 1 meter, but it could weigh up to 10 kilograms. Eoraptors, Staricosaurs, and Hererosaurs had many features characteristic of later theropods. However, they were not yet true theropods. Later, on the territory of South America, larger and more well-known species of carnivorous lizards appeared. This continent can boast its own super predators, secretive hunters, and quite unusual dinosaurs. Abelisaurus, despite scientists having only an incomplete skull of this dinosaur, gave its name to an entire family of predatory theropods that lived not only in South America. This skull was found in 1983 in the Argentine province of Rio Negro, and its length was estimated at about 85 centimeters. Since all known abelisaurids have a relatively short head, the total body length of this lizard is estimated at 7.5 meters, and it could weigh more than 2 tons. These dinosaurs were widespread, closer to the end of the Cretaceous period. Carnotaurus, or the carnivorous bull, is probably the most famous predator of the dinosaur era, originating from South America. Its remains were discovered in 1984. Scientists obtained an almost completely preserved skeleton of a bipedal dinosaur from the Abelisaurid family. A distinctive feature of Carnotaurus, for which it received its name, is a pair of characteristic horns on the head just above the eyes. The purpose of these bony protrusions is still not precisely explained. They may have served for eye protection or used in mating battles. There is even a hypothesis that the predator could strike its prey with them during the hunt. Another interesting feature of Carnotaurus is its four-fingered front limbs. Unlike other dinosaurs with a similar body structure, Carnotaurus has four fingers on its front paws instead of three. However, the front limbs of Carnotaurus are so small compared to its overall size that it looks quite amusing. Its length is estimated at 7.5 meters, height at almost 3 meters, and weight at over 2 tons. Most likely, this lizard almost stopped using its front limbs, and they became a rudimentary organ. Erosteon, a dinosaur from the Megaraptorid family, is the oldest known animal with a respiratory system similar to modern birds. This is why it got its name, which can be translated as airbone. These dinosaurs lived in South America from 70 to 83 million years ago. Researchers currently have only one skeleton, but it is well preserved, allowing conclusions about the size and origin of the species. The length of the lizard was approximately 9 meters, and it weighed around 2 tons. Interestingly, Aerosteon is not related to any of the branches of large theropods that spread on the continent at the end of the Cretaceous period. Its closest family is the Allosaurids, which lived in North America. Tyranotitan, a lizard from the early Cretaceous period, undoubtedly justifies its name. With a length of 12 meters, a height of 4 meters, and a weight of 5 tons, it hardly had any competitors in the struggle for the title of the top predator, Piatnitskisaurus. This family of lizard-hipped dinosaurs is one of the largest theropods of the Jurassic period. It includes Piatnitskisaurus, as well as Marshosaurus and Condoraptors. The length of these dinosaurs was about 4, 5 meters, and they weighed several hundred kilograms. Megaraptor. This theropod differs from many of its colleagues by having large claws on its front limbs. For representatives of the Megaraptorid family, these claws were not a rudiment, and they were actively used in hunting. With a body length of about 8 meters and a weight of over 1 ton, these dinosaurs could occupy the niche of fast and agile hunters. Orcaraptor, 
a smaller relative of Megaraptor, lived in Argentina approximately 75 million years ago. It is known from several found vertebrae, shin bones, parts of the skull, and teeth. Scientists assume that it had a similar structure to its larger relative. Its body length is estimated at about 6 meters and its weight at 500 kilograms. Predatory dinosaurs of the African continent. Now let's move on to the last continent. Africa was part of a larger union for a long time. On its territory, there were many species of predators identical or related to European, South American or Australian dinosaurs. However, during the dinosaur era, unique predators specific to this continent could also be found. The climatic and geological conditions in modern Africa differ significantly from the conditions of the Mesozoic era. At that time, these places were a paradise for the development of reptiles of all kinds. Currently, a similar climate exists only in the equatorial forests of the central part of the continent. Back then, tropical jungles with numerous rivers covered vast areas. Today, many regions of Africa are deserts. Excavations there are associated with significant difficulties and require serious expenses. Even in the equatorial jungles, finding dinosaur remains is more of a coincidence than the result of prolonged scientific work. Despite this, scientists have discovered quite a variety of reptiles from the Mesozoic era in Africa. The quantity and diversity of dinosaur species are quite impressive. Today, we will get acquainted with some predators of that era. Afrovenator. The name of this species translates as African hunter. This theropod from the megalosaurid family was discovered in the Sahara Desert in the Republic of Niger in 1993. Scientists obtained almost a complete skeleton, including a large part of the skull, many vertebrae, pelvic bones, as well as front and hind limbs. These findings were located in Jurassic period deposits with an approximate age of 160 million years. The reconstruction of Afrovenata showed that it had a length of up to 8 meters and weighed about a ton. Bahariasaurus. This carnivorous dinosaur is considered one of the largest hunters of its time. Its remains date back to a period between 94 and 100 million years ago and are found over an extensive area in North Africa. It inhabited the territories of modern-day Morocco, Algeria, and Egypt. Unfortunately, scientists do not have a complete skull of this dinosaur, making it challenging to accurately determine its diet and hunting methods. However, with a length of up to 13 meters, a height of up to 4 meters, and a body mass of about 4.5 tons, this monster could hunt large sauropods as well as other bipedal lizards or crocodile morphs. Berberosaurus. This predatory dinosaur from the Ceratosaur suborder is uniquely early among the found members of this suborder. The discovery of this lizard in Morocco allowed scientists to resolve several disputed questions regarding the origin of a large group of dinosaurs. A partial skeleton of this dinosaur was found and it inhabited the region during the early Jurassic period. Its length is estimated at approximately 6.5 meters. Carcharodontosaurus. This large theropod from the Cretaceous period is noteworthy for coexisting with another giant, Bahariosaurus, in the same time and place. With a length of about 13 meters, a height of up to 4 meters, and a weight ranging from 5 to 8 tons, Carcharodontosaurus inevitably competed with a comparable sized adversary. Its unique tooth structure might indicate a specialized niche, possibly hunting large sauropods. Its name translates to shark-toothed lizard, as the first researchers who discovered this new dinosaur were so impressed by its gigantic, serrated teeth that they likened them to the giant shark Megalodon. Spanosaurus, the most famous of African predators from the dinosaur era, playing a minor role in Steven Spielberg's Jurassic Park. Despite being a fish eater, it is one of the largest predators in the history of life on our planet. Different researchers estimate its length from 15 to sometimes 18 meters. The giant could reach a height of over 6 meters with a weight of 7.5 tons. Distinctive features of Spanosaurus include a crocodile-like snout and a high sail along its back. Recent reconstructions depict it as a semi-aquatic theropod with a flattened tail. 
suggesting that its body was almost parallel to the ground and it often moved on all fours. Another representative of the Spinosaurid family, which inhabited the territory of the Republic of Niger from 133 to 125 million years ago, was Suchomimus. This lizard had a length of up to 11 meters, a height of up to 3 meters, and a weight of up to 5 tons. A significant distinction of this species was its even narrower snout, resembling modern gharials. These crocodiles live in Southeast Asia and feed exclusively on fish. The name of this dinosaur translates to crocodile-like, Cristatosaurus, an almost unknown and poorly studied dinosaur from the same family. Initially, all findings related to Cristatosaurus were attributed to Suchomimus, but in 1984, a study was published stating that a set of bones and teeth belonged to a new, yet-to-be-studied species. What was previously thought to be the hooked teeth of Suchomimus turned out to be small, vertebral spines on the neck of Cristatosaurus. They supported a low crest along its neck, partially extending onto the snout. Even now, some illustrators depict only the neck crest of this dinosaur, making the snout similar to other members of the family. This lizard lived in North Africa in the early Cretaceous period, with a length of 8 to 10 meters, a height of up to 5 meters, and a weight of about 5 tons. Deltadromius. This fairly large yet graceful dinosaur inhabited the territories of Egypt and Morocco in the Cretaceous period. With a length of up to 14 meters and a height of about 2.5 meters, the weight of this lizard did not exceed 2 tons. Its name is associated with its presumed habitat in river deltas. Initially, a specimen about 8 meters long was described, but later it was found that a specimen discovered in 1912 and initially described as a representative of another dinosaur species also belonged to Deltadromius. Initially considered a relative of Tyrannosaurus, later researchers classified it into the Noosaurid family, making it a close relative of Abelosaur. Deltadromius is the largest member of this family. Almost the sole representative from South Africa on our list was Dracovinator. It inhabited the region during the early Jurassic period, approximately 200 million years ago. This theropod did not have the most imposing dimensions with a length of 6 meters, a height of 2.5 meters, and a weight not exceeding 700 kilograms. This species is described based on a few preserved parts of the skull, several teeth, and shoulder girdle bones. The name can be translated as Dragon Hunter, given the discovery of its remains in the foothills known as Dragon's Mountain. Eocarcharia, a representative of the Carcharodontosaurid family, lived in North Africa during the early Cretaceous period. Scientists only have a partially preserved skull and some scattered bones. After studying and comparing them with related species, it was found that the maximum length of this dinosaur could be around 7 meters, with a height of 2 meters and a weight ranging from half a ton to a ton. A characteristic feature of this predator was a bony crest above its eyes. Its name, Early Shark, comes from its association with the so-called shark-toothed lizards. Cryptops. This little-known abelisaurid was discovered near the remains of Eocarcaria in 2000. It lived approximately 100, 125 million years ago in the swamps and sparse forests of North Africa. Among the fossils found are several vertebrae, a pair of ribs, well-preserved pelvic bones, and a fragment of the lower jaw found 15 meters away. Due to the distance between the bones, some scientists believe they may belong to different species. If these bones belong to a single dinosaur, Cryptop's total length could be from 6 up to 7 meters, with a height just under 2.5 meters. Megapnosaurus. In the early Jurassic period, two separate subspecies of this lizard existed on different continents. Megapnosaurus fossils were found in the United States and Zimbabwe. They had typical theropod characteristics, with a body length of 3 meters and a weight slightly over 30 kilograms. It is believed that the African subspecies had a feathered crest on its head, while the North American one had two small, longitudinal crests. 
In Africa, fossils of approximately 30 individuals were discovered in a small area, suggesting that Megapnosaurus may have been a social animal. This predator is the first abelisaurid found in Africa, discovered in 2000. Its name is Rugops. Previously, all relatives of Rugops were found in South America or India. There are also findings on the island of Madagascar, which was then part of the modern Indian peninsula. Unfortunately, only an incomplete skull of this dinosaur has been found so far. It is often depicted as a classic member of the abelisaurid family with powerful hind limbs, short front limbs, a short snout, and a strong neck. Estimates by different researchers suggest a length of 4.5 to 6 meters and a weight of 400 to 750 kilograms. Spinostrophius, a small theropod from the mid-Jurassic period. Its fossils were found in the northern part of the African continent from the mid-20th century, but it was only identified as a distinct species in 2004. Various researchers report different data on its dimensions and body mass. In these descriptions, the length of Spinostrophius ranges from 4 to 6 meters and the weight from 200 to 600 kilograms. Sigil Massasaurus concludes our list. This rather unusual dinosaur from the Spinosaurid family has been a subject of debate since its discovery in 1996 in Morocco. Some scientists believed that the remains belonged to a previously unknown Carcharodontosaurid, while others considered it a distinct species of Spinosaur. The length of Sigil Massasaurus is estimated to be between 12.5 and 17.5 meters, with a weight of 6 tons. Interestingly, similar fossils were found in Brazil in 2015. This dinosaur closely resembles Spinosaurus and is recognized as a separate species. The discovery of its Brazilian subspecies only confirmed the theory of active dinosaur colonization across the entire planet. The presented list of predatory dinosaurs on the African continent is incomplete. It can be confidently stated that Africa holds many more mysteries related to the dinosaur era. In the near future, the scientific understanding of these dinosaurs may change significantly and several more interesting and unusual species may be added to the list of predators. Thank you for watching this video to the end. You not only gained new knowledge about dinosaurs, but also help our channel to grow. We also recommend exploring our previous materials to learn more about other secrets of the prehistoric era.